looks like wings. A very warm welcome to Chagra for the country championships of 2022. James Preston and Carly Banks with you in commentary. And Carly, these two sides, the Central Coast Dolphins and the Maitland Redbacks, really will be looking to make a statement here in the women's 20s division. Yes, two uh, Hunter Western Hornets regional country teams, and uh, they'll be. Uh, this will be very keenly contested, I would say, James. 100%. And we are just awaiting our final team list here, so you'll have to bear with us to begin this match as it is the Redbacks who work it up towards that halfway line. Fortunately, I've got Carly Banks in here who does have a pretty good understanding of the players across these two sides. So it's great to have you back on deck here, Carls. Yeah, it's a wonderful day for touch, isn't it, James? And so good to see everybody back at the country championships after an enforced hi hiatus for us. So uh, fantastic to be back. Last play here for the Redbacks, first set of the match. Now spread it nice and wide, but good pressure jamming in off the wing. Nowhere to go whatsoever. Now a chance for the Central Coast Dolphins to work it away from their own end. Flat ball there at the line. Shift yeah, it on once more. Yeah, they're working really hard to get that ball over to the sub box. So really good tactics from the uh, Redbacks to finish the ball over this side of the field and uh, took the Central Coast girls three touches to truck the ball over to their to their box so really good tactics from both teams so far last play now and really moving at pace here trying to work some sort of an overlap nearly did so but once more good pressure coming across sliding in defense from the link position so of course Carly you do have quite an extensive association with the Hunter West Hornets a lot of these players would be featuring for that side when it comes to those high levels of representative touch and who are some of the players we should be keeping a key eye on across both sides? There's um there's some really really good um, young players um, out there. Like the Central Coast Dolphins um, have their youth teams and and they take them to the Vorden Cup. So a, n a number of these girls will be playing um you know youth youth or Division One. So um, yeah, it's really good to see the Central Coast, who are a very very strong club, really dominating out here in this um, tournament already. I do have a very choice selection of uh, quality middles in particular. That's one thing that we know about the Central Coast region. They can certainly produce some great talent in that respect as they once more encroach upon that line. I think they got their back in time. Yes, suggested that the touch was affected and certainly both feet back behind the line. So the Redbacks survive and work it away now from their seven metre mark. Jamming in from the link position to make the touch. Pulled up by the wing here and now the Redbacks just looking to Open play up a little bit here. They've taken a little while to get those fresh players on during the subset. But now a bit of momentum starting to click into gear. Last play now, though. Unfortunately, they've overrun the play on that occasion there, the Redbacks. There's no one to pass it to. Yeah, it's a little bit of a, um, a tussle end-to-end, -end, isn't it, James? They're uh, sort of just trying to battle for the ascendancy here in the early sets um, in this match. But both teams have been playing out the sets of six, so quite impressive for this age level. So no try scorers as of yet in the women's 20 division. Step back off the left foot, trying to open up a gap through the middle here. Very well watched in defence though, and ultimately out of acting half. So a changeover to come. It's nice play from Maitland. Yeah, they're trying really hard to get this ball to the box um, on early counts, which is really good. And they've saved a touch there. So they're only on touch three here. And um, they're looking for their latch play coming now. Let's see if they can conjure it up. Not quite on this occasion. 
they can continue to move it away now. Short pass at the line. Still a couple of plays up their sleeves here. Oh, the dummies come across. Looks beautiful. Linking up. Space out wide. They go to ground. I think they have managed to keep hands on it just as the dive came in. Yes, ball spilled after the act of scoring. And the Maitland Redbacks are the first team on the scoreboard list for this match. Yeah, that's been coming for a while, James. Um, they've been really, really good in completing their sets and then putting pressure on the Central Coast. They got a, got a quick transition. They went down the other end and read the numbers really well and a nice little long ball over the top and the winger did the rest. So the Dolphins with work to do and you can just see the wind really starting to take effect there. Even starting to blow the ball off the particular mark and once more causing havoc in that particular play. It's a real mix up there from the Dolphins. Fancy they would love to be next on the scorers list. They don't want to give themselves too much ground to make up as up towards halfway come the Redbacks. And over it now, stepping back off the right foot, picking up an extra five or ten metres here. Now continue to shift towards their middles. Great pressure coming out there from the 35 for the Dolphins. Always playing at pace. A nice option to jam in off the wing there as well to really put on the pressure in defence. So they've recovered quite well here off the back of conceding the first try. And they can now work it away themselves. Heading towards that interchange area. Not a bad subset so far. They get the fresh players onto the field. Transition is smooth midway through the count. Still a couple of plays now for the Dolphins. Here is the last. Now out of acting half they run. They've got a retreating defensive line. Quick hands, but however, they've numbered up very well in defence there, the Redbacks. Yeah, they definitely have. And, um, but that's a better set for the Central Coast Dolphins. Um, and, um, yeah, they'll be looking to just build some pressure here, James, and make sure that they're um, you know trying to limit this ground that the... Redbacks are getting at will here because they are a very well-drilled rucking outfit and they're getting great field position nearly every single set. So that's a little bit of um, a, a little bit of work there um, that the Central Coast have done. And, and as we speak, they they get the turnover. Great midfield pressure. Yeah, credit to them. They were up quickly in defence, shutting things down and preventing any of those wide options there. A very messy play. The ball could have gone either way, but. Referees rule in favour of Maitland. So the changeover comes just after they've done all the hard work to earn themselves some good field position with the turnover. I'll offer it right back here to the Redbacks. Get a really smooth transition coming on. Four players in one swift movement. They can keep marching upfield now. Off the right foot they go. Good pressure out of acting half. The touch came across. I'm not sure if she was on side. Surely that pass has floated forward at... One point there. I'm not sure if they will award this. Certainly suggestions oh, from awkward. the defensive line. In fact, they have. Well, I thought there could have been a, a litany of reasons why that one was pulled back, whether it be the touch for getting back on side. I thought it might have happened to have uh, just got the two feet behind the line or the pass, potentially. But there is a lot of wind floating around. There is, and a few fortuitous call there for the Redbacks, and they go out to a 2 0 lead, James. So the Dolphins with plenty of work to do. The good news for them is they still have plenty of time on the clock, of course. 30-minute matches, no halves. Simply change ends once one of the sides scores. And the Dolphins will be hoping next time they do that, they'll be off the back of their own try. Off the head. Back up through the guts once more, operating with their middles. Pace here on display from the 35 who dies from a long way, but really nice touch there getting down very low to prevent the try. Yeah, definitely. Not bad attack though from the Central Coast Dolphins on that occasion. They ran their sweep of plays and, and they're asking some questions of the Redbacks, but this powerful drive that the Redbacks have coming out of their own end, I mean, at will they're making 10 metres quite easily, James. So the real question is for um, the Central Coast coaching box and um, over there I see Paul Farrah in the coaching box over there for the Central Coast Dolphins New South Wales men's 20s assistant coach so he's very very experienced and um, I'm sure that Faz will be working overtime to find some solutions for the girls I don't think you'll have to look too far though both sides looked very well drilled in this opening little stanza but certainly the Redbacks as you mentioned there Callie Banks are dominating that rucking play to start their sets they're really quite smooth when their transitions are coming into effect yeah they certainly are and um 
yeah, the Dolphins just have to create a bit of back end flow here. They're, they're, um, their first three are not as sharp. And um, yeah, they've just. It's just a coach killer over there for Faz. Yeah, not playing the ball squarely. Of course, that's one of the key rules here in touch footy. Play it on the mark and play it facing the correct direction. Otherwise, you will be pulled up, and the referees are always pretty good with that. Touch comes in from the wing as they head back towards the open side now. Still numbers in motion. Nice little strike dump here. They can go hard at the line, getting all the way through. The pass is not a bad one either. They link up, and the Redbacks add some more pain to the scoreboard. Three tries to nil. It's a great start from Maitland. Yeah, and that's off the back again of this powerful rucking game that they've got, James. They create great back end flow, which was the thing that I was saying that the Central Coast Dolphins have to try to get going. So if I'm over there in the Central Coast box, I'm probably trying to, you know, get the players to get on their transitions a little bit quicker and try to, you know, um, you know, create some momentum on the first three and, and try to put, you know, the um, Redbacks under a little bit of pressure defensively because at the moment they're controlling the attack and the defence. And as we speak, there's a penalty there to the Central Coast Dolphins um, for offside. So let's see what the what the Dolphins can do with this repeat set here, James. You might be able to hear it in the effects, Mike, but the wind is really picking up here at Tugra. It's very chilly. I don't know how Carly Banks has only got the T-shirt and shorts on. I've gone into the winter gear. Mate, I'm a Toowoomba girl originally, so it's very cold up there. So, uh, yeah, this is um, a walk in the park, mate. And here I was thinking the Sunshine State was warm everywhere. <laughs> here come the Dolphins off the left foot. Oh, just losing the footing too. That could have been an awkward collision. Did well to pull out of it, did the Redbacks defender. Back towards the middle and trying to open it up now on the short side. Jeez, that's great work sliding across from the 36. That's... That's just a real hound dog sort of approach, not letting the play die. Yeah, definitely. And obviously the Central Coast Dolphins were trying to finish the ball as close as they could to their box side to make life hard for this juggernaut that is the Redbacks, um, you know, um, team in this in this division. Their, their rucking is really good, James. Like, And the Central Coast Dolphins are no slouches defensively. So this is real quality rucking from the Maitland Redbacks. Time and again, they're managing to continue that momentum with very smooth subsets. And once more, they can really click into gear with the turn of pace. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the call, if you are wondering where the names are, we are too. That's the unfortunate dilemma that we sometimes find when there's hundreds of players, many, many teams across multiple divisions. But uh, we'll do our best here for you. Hopefully we can get some updates moving forward into the back end of this match. But it is the Dolphins once more driving forward. Very easy metres on offer in that particular play with a retreating defensive line now, but once more shut things down from the middle. A real nice effort there from the working middle. Yeah, no, it was a really, really nice strike dump. And, um, you know, they they sort of picked up and if they were a little bit more direct on that on that run from half, then it may have paid some dividends. So there might be something in that um, for the Central Coast to have a bit of a look of, look on those strike dumps and, and sort of get the um, acting half runner to maybe run a little bit more of a direct line between the two middles and they might get a result, I think, James. Heavy touch there on the previous play from the Dolphins. Just managed to slow momentum a bit, but that's a great pass. In fact, speaking of great passes, there's a beautiful floating one over the top. Nearly caused all sorts of problems. Last play now here for the Redbacks. Nothing opening up for them, though. Once more, great work from the defensive middle for the Dolphins. Jammed in, shut down any opportunity there for the Redbacks, who were looking dangerous in the previous couple of plays. The Dolphins, though, still not quite able to match it with the Redbacks in terms of those transitions. This is a slightly better one, but still nowhere near as smooth as we're seeing from Maitland. So they straighten up. Pick up a further five metres. Last play now. Ball out in front. Did well to reel it back in. Firing it back towards the centre. And then continuing to march wide. Oh. In fact, they'll beat the cover defence here, the Dolphins. They'll just check to see with our honesty system. There is no touch whatsoever. And they are on the board, the Dolphins. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, beautiful little in and away line there from the, from the Dolphins winger. Um, and that's got the Dolphins back in this contest, James. So, fantastic. It's a big little shout-out here to our admin staff back in the tent. They've come through with us with the team sheets here, Cully Banks. So, <laughs> we'll uh, slowly write those out as we do see things unfold. Will be the Maitland Redbacks 
With the use of the ball here for now. As they come centre field. Now through Stella Nichols. Nichols still an option there through the middle. Oh, good touch. Comes across. Not on side though. Oh, and then it's bombed at the death. Well, there was a try gone begging. I just had to reel it in. I don't think it'll be the end of it, though. No, they're going to play advantage here. Yeah, no, that's a really, really good call from the referee out there. She played advantage and there wasn't any. So, um, yeah, they came back and now they've got... They've gifted them a set of six. So let's see what the Redbacks can do. Strike dump on the seven. They come for it once again. And unfortunately, that pass somewhere in between middle and link, but ultimately not where it needed to be. Yeah, but if I'm on the Redbacks coach... Um, I'm not too unhappy about that play. The execution was off, but the idea was right. There was space out on that wing. So, you know, I wonder if they'll go back to that well a little bit later on in the game, James. You want to watch. And, I mean, you mentioned, of course, the uh, the coaching staff of the Dolphins. So far, I think the Redbacks coaching staff, they would be very, very happy with what they've seen. Yeah, they're very well drilled, aren't they? Like, they, um, they go through through their, their patterns and their processes and yeah and they're quite good defensively as well James like they're working really hard for each other and um, yeah I'm, I've been super impressed with what I've seen so far from the Maitland Redbanks of course I know you're predominantly looking after the, the men's divisions these days but I'm sure there might be a few players catching your eye here and I'm sure some of the boys will be telling you you know what you need to have a chat with some of the, uh, the women's coaches as well based on what we're seeing out here there's some very strong performances last play now for the Dolphins, they'll come to the centre of the field looking to work from left to right. All good step back off the right foot. But good pressure jamming in from the wing there from the Redbacks. And that's something they've been doing very well is just not dying with the play. Even when the ball is, I suppose, in midair. Just because the ball is floating doesn't mean you have to. Yeah, definitely. No, they've they've done very, very well um, you know, for the entirety of the game so far, James. So, And here they go again, taking the ball to the box. Really smart play. It, it, she pushed the pass there, but it was definitely, you know, on and just couldn't be taken. But, you know, the Central Coast have now got a turnover in pretty good field position. So let's see what they can do with this with this repeat set. So they come to the middle now through Highland. And Highland finds the support of Westerman. Westerman, oh, yes, lovely little ball, short one here. And they will produce a result. Walkerton dives in for the Central Coast Dolphins. Yeah, so that's um, a 3-2 scoreline now, James. And that sweeper play was something that um, the Central Coast coaching staff had been trying to get the girls to do a little bit earlier. And I thought that strike dump was inside the seven. So they, were, they fortuitously got away with that one. But a lovely dive uh, from Walkerton. And, um, yeah, the Central Coast are back in it. And it's game on, James, 3-2. We like that. Nice tight fixtures and we are gradually getting this team list to you so occasionally you might hear a new name popping up. That's what we love. This will be another turnover favouring the Dolphins though. We talk about going to the well when something works in touch football. So far what have you I suppose identified for the Dolphins? They've managed to gradually get their way back into the match. Is there a particular play they need to keep relying on? Yeah they're very good at um, the sweepers down on the line that seems to be you know their their go-to play and stuff like that so I'd, I'd also like to see them oh as we speak looks like Eric here come the Dolphins all the way into the in goal and finding support in the form of Sarah Highland she beats the cover defense gets it down quickly and Carly Banks you were saying we've got a game on our hands we certainly do three tries apiece yeah that was number 35 was that Erica Stoddard it was indeed Erica Stoddard at the 35 yeah no he, did some skills work with her um, a little while ago, a few years ago, and she's worked really hard, um, you know, on her game. And her game's um, picked up in, in you know, leaps and bounds. She's playing um, Vaughan Cup um, on a Friday night with the Central Coast Dolphins um, in the Division One, and played some Premier as well. So yeah, she's a she's a, a good young player, and she just showed why. She ran straight between the two middles and and set up that touchdown. So, yeah, good to see the Central Coast really clawing their way back into this one. So let's see how the Maitland Redbacks respond, James. It's been a wave of tries for the Dolphins. Now come up with a few clutch plays to really make this one a tight contest, but the Redbacks looking to hit back immediately here. Ball over the top. Oh, it was nearly a good enough ball to beat the cover defence. 
Squirting across there was Squires who tried to shut it down very quickly. Still pressure against them though here. Squires was watching once more. But good support from the inside link. That was Lucy Stringer that made the touch. And that will be the change over there, Carly Banks. Yep, again, we've, we're into a bit of an arm wrestle here, James, as both teams are battling for the ascendancy here. Um, next five minutes will be really, really important, James, in terms of who can really sort of kick clear, complete their sets, get, you know, get to the other end and really, really put some scoreboard pressure on if they can. So Dolphins with ball in hand. Here is Stoddard managing to work half an overlap there. They nearly capitalised on it. Mullins, though, is caught just at the death. And they'll say, what have they ruled that? Is that the last Six. that they ruled? Yep. Yeah, it is indeed. The girls certainly lost count for a moment. I might have too. <laughs> it is infectious. Towards halfway they come. Great driving run there as well from Nichols. Yeah, they're, they're already there um, on two. If I was the Maitland's Redbacks coaching staff, I'd probably say, look, we're already over halfway on two. I would have kept the flow going towards the middle and maybe, you know, get a little bit closer for, the, for, their, for their strike dump. They might still get an opportunity here. Ball out in front. Just evading the grasp there mm. of, I think it was Walter back, it certainly was. Yeah, because what we often see, James, is there's a big accent from heaps of teams on, you know, sub box patterns, etc. And they seem to just go through the motions of, you know, on three, we always take the ball to here or we do whatever. So when you see people playing some eyes up footy and, um, you know, changing up and going, well, we've already got the field position, now we can go to something a little bit earlier. It's a real sign of maturity you know in plays and when you see that in young people you get pretty excited about that type of type of ability it's always great to see maturity beyond the years of course this is the women's 20 division good pressure coming up on from the link position so the change over to come here for the red backs and one thing they've done particularly well of course has been getting those fresh players onto the field they're all lined up ready to go bit of a slow play the ball there in fact more than slow and there's a reason for it it was a stray foot. Managed to dispossess them, so they'll get another set to play with here as Turner shifts it away. Forward they drive now. Up through the centre of the pitch. Still pressure on here for this defensive line. Good touch, though, made from Ball. Yeah. It was Ball and all for that matter. Yeah, clutch play there from the Central Coast winger. Floating back to the middle. There's no way they are going to beat the cover defence, though, of Trasler. She was in there to close things down. Still a couple of plays left here for the Redbacks. I haven't asked too many questions so far in this particular set, though. This is the last now. Don't quite get the strike dump either. And that's great defensive pressure from the Dolphins. Yeah, really good. Um, the Redland, uh, the Redland, the, the, uh, the repeat backs through the kitchen sink at them then and uh, really, really couldn't um, breach them there. And the Central Coast Dolphins look very, very you know, composed and at ease dealing with that set of six. So, oh. <laughs> holy, holy... Carly Mac. Banks, that's one of the greatest commentator's curses I've ever seen. They yeah. look extremely composed. They've passed it to a player who's already running to the substitutions box. Uh, well done and welcome to the commentary booth. Jeez, um, I think they won't want me up here <laughs> anymore, James. <laughs> well, the Redbacks play it about 15 metres away. From the Dolphins line, crabbing across field is Nichols. They link up here. Oh, good pressure coming across in defence, though, from Highland. She shut it down. Still an option here back to the middle. Was that touched? No, they managed to get hands on it themselves, the Redbacks. Back towards that seven-metre mark now. Now fire it off here for Murdoch. Murdoch drops it off. Late at the line, trying to work something beautifully watched in defence, though. I think that is Stoddard. Yes, it is. Yeah, they have composed themselves really well. They've had two almost back-to-back -back sets defensively and the Dolphins have handled everything that the Maitland Redbacks have thrown at them there so then oh that, that's a fortuitous penalty there for the for the Dolphins because it looks like a bit of a loose carry to me but um you know they get the penalty and they get a chance to um get down the other end now and this would break the hearts of the Redland mate uh the the, the Maitland, Maitland Redbacks Red I'll help you yeah, out there Carly Banks there. is not <laughs> Not a worry whatsoever. Sorry, mate. I, I drove 10 hours from Queensland um, overnight. So, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. In, from uh, uh, just Toowoomba? Just struggling a little bit. No, mate. From Brisbane. I was at the uh, Metro Cup up there last night. And, um, yep, finished my coaching commitments and jumped in the car. And here I am. You're a glutton for punishment. I am. And also an absolute passionate fiend when it comes to touch football. Mate, I just have to get a life, I think. But anyway, <laughs> moving on. I can help you with that. Now, <laughs> off they shifted here, the Dolphins. 
about 10 metres shy of the try line. They've still got them back pedalling, coming up for supporting pressure through the middle. Yes, she did indeed make the touch. There was certainly some concern about her that it yeah. wasn't going to be awarded initially, but the touch definitely made. Yeah, definitely. This has been such a good contest, though, James. Both these teams have really toiled hard. You know, they've they worked hard to try and get the field position. Um, you know, everything they've got, they've earned. And, you know, it's a, it's a real, um, yeah, really, really good battle. And, um, yeah, really hard to pick a winner, isn't it? Yeah, of course, still locked at three tries apiece here. It was a very strong start for the Maitland Redbacks, but oh. they've worked their way into it here, the Dolphins, and they nearly had an opportunity to capitalise there, though, the Redbacks. Yeah, the Redbacks were nearly nearly through there, and it was just last-ditch defence there from the Dolphins to save the day. So, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's all happening here. Now the, uh, the big news we've got for you is that the team list is officially through. We've got every single player playing in this one, so big thank you to our staff back in the admin tent there for New South Wales Touch Football. It's a million miles a minute. There are games happening left, <laughs> right and centre across this massive complex here in Tugra as the Dolphins go on the attack. Now that Stringer plays it quickly, rushing out of the defensive line. It was good pressure from the Redbacks. Still live here. Oh, the big dummy comes out. Such a massive dummy that it's fooled everybody. And they might have gone all the way across here. Did the cover defence get there in time? No, it didn't. And the Dolphins, out of absolutely nowhere, have taken the lead 4-3. Oh, walk it in again. She has been a dominant player for this Central Coast Dolphins outfit. She skies through there from acting half and linked up with Squires, who got down for her second touchdown of the of the game, James. So a real turn of fortunes here for the Central Coast side. Started very much on the back foot, but they have come home with a wet sail, and perhaps fittingly, the wind has picked up as well as their performance has. Stoddard making the touch as the Redbacks now have the work to do. Out of acting half here is Sunnerton. Yeah, I don't think uh, the, the Redbacks are finished just yet, James. I think um, we might see some more scoreboard action coming very soon. We certainly know they can launch a raid. And they'll try and do another one here. Great cutout ball. Oh, beautiful whip held as well. Perfect. And I don't think they're going to rule that one forward. It was beautiful yes. out of the hands. Yes, back into the in goal they go. They'll point to the spot, and that is a try. We're locked up once more, four apiece. Yeah, that was a beautiful piece of play. Got around on the sweep and instinctively threw long to the winger who ran a lovely little J line to dot down. That was a fantastic piece of play, James. And, um, yep, for all. So Walter back collecting the try. That's a welcome back to level peggings for this matter. So here come the Dolphins up over halfway. Picking up easy metres up through the middle at the moment. Although they will have to head back to the mark there. Walk it in. Once more receives it then. Popping it back on the inside for support. Walker and now wrapping around. Oh, was she onside or not? I don't think so. Yes, Walker and has taken full advantage of a marker who didn't get both feet behind the line. And those are those little one percenters that can be absolutely crucial in a game of touch. Yeah, strike dump on the on the seven where they wanted it, and that sweeper play has been money for jam for the Central Coast Dolphins outfit today, James. And uh, yeah, they've certainly got that aspect of their game on point. So let's see if the Redbacks can come back here. So the Redbacks with use of the ball now. Here's Beckett. Back towards the middle for Stacey. Yeah. Beckett once more. Stacey in an acting half as they wrap around here. Carr at pace trying to link up with her link for that matter. Yeah, both teams throwing similar shapes attack-wise. Lots of sweeping plays from both teams. Um, it'd be interesting to maybe throw the cat among the pigeons and uh, and 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 throw, you know, a rooster shape at them or something a little bit different um, that sort of forces the other team to shut down um, because in women's touch, traditionally, there's a lot more advent of, of chase-out, shut-down defence um, that we see a lot more than in the sort of men's game that tend to be a little bit more man-on um, and competing sort of defences. So, yeah, I'd really like to see both these teams maybe... Yeah, get a little rooster play, wrap around behind. And, uh, yeah, but we run out of time, James. So, uh, what a game. Well, that is full time there, Kelly Banks. And I was going to ask if we had one further play to just put another animal in there. I mean, you're talking about a rooster play, cat amongst the pigeons. We've got oh, redbacks, dolphins. It's all happening. Oh, 
Now I'm just getting hungry. I already had lunch, but <laughs> who'd have thought? Who'd have thought I'd be here needing to eat again? But at full time, we have finished here with a level game. So, of course, no drop-offs, no extra time on day one here for the pool fixtures. Four tries apiece between the Redbacks and the Dolphins. And uh, ultimately, very, very high-quality match. But that's not certainly where it finishes. We still have plenty to get through. Another match coming your way in about five minutes' time right here on New South Wales Touch Football and Bar TV.